welcome, welcome everyone, or should we say howdy? You know, being a Kansas boy myself, home of Cowboy Town such as Wichita, Abilene, and Dodge City, this is one game I have been greatly looking forward to. My family moved from Germany to Oklahoma in 1896 and Kansas soon afterwards, so with this game taking place in 1899, this kind of really hits close to home literally. But before we get too far along, we need to make a necessary change. It isn't our first time we've dressed up as a cowboy, but uh, I mean, it kind of fits the bill, doesn't it? go that's a little bit better fits the theme anyway so without any more further talky talk let's get into it everyone red dead redemption 2 in a segment we're going to be calling So to skip a little bit of the backstory here as we will do throughout the game, just to save a little time during the story elements, what you should know is that Red Dead Redemption 2 is set in 1899 and by this time a lot of the West has been settled. There aren't a lot of gangs out there, outlaws if you will. They've been hunted down by the Pinkertons, by the Marshals, but there are a few still remaining. And that is where our story starts. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out Abigail. looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Colton. Coulter? Coulter. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen, Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. 
Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But, we're gonna ride out, and we're gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, Pierce. I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. That guy's one of those natural hey, speech givers. Oh, yeah. That just, it just all came from him. He's like Captain America. Rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Uh, we all right, just, oh. starting us off on a horse. I had heard things about how good this game looked, but you know, I honestly, yeah, you up. honestly Take need an experience in per person. And this, this is good. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Do you? I can't see anything, man. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. I have a feeling we're not going to be too friendly to this family, but we'll, uh, just have to see, you know. It's up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Well, they just have their horses outside. Psh. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Over there! Four of them! He's in here! Watch out! One up in the window! Oh, I like that. You okay. You gotta pull back the hammer or something? Take cover, bro. Take cover. Woo! Okay, I like that. Okay, so I switched in the first person there to do that little battle there because I wanted to see what it was like. Once I found out that you could do that, I was kind of like... That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here! Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. I'm glad our Arthur saw that salt and meat. I did not see that. <laughs> Do I need to go back into first person so I can actually see what I? Oh, what's that? I don't believe it. Oh, cakes. This is a strange one, all 
Give me them old cakes. Canned fruits, too. Keep that scurvy away. Okay. I will go do that. I am a sucker for barns. Fighter. No. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. <laughs> Where's Colm O'Driscoll? At an old mining camp southwest of here. Ooh, that's not good. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some trains. Does that mean they're back they're at the same the camp we have all the women and no children and stuff at? Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. I'm hoping that just knocked him out. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that knocked him out right there. I am a little glad that Arthur slightly looks like me. I have a pointier mustache, but other than that, I think we're, uh, I think we're a pair. Look at the poop on the ground, too. Easy, easy. You're all right, boy. Interesting. So I got a new horse, evidently. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. He brought it. Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Why up there, Gaita? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old dresses. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. Fuck you, fool. Michael. Miss. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Yep, that's an issue. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay. Miss, you are. Safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't bad. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. He was my husband. So I'm just realizing now in editing that the guy in the barn was actually her husband. I didn't connect the dots there, but if we would have spared him, then they would have been able to live on, I suppose. Well, he just came out and said that he was a bad guy, but wasn't as bad as the last guys, evidently. <laughs> I like that. It's okay. Somebody's coming. Oh, look at that rifle. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh. Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Bill Williamson. Sounds familiar. He ain't been seen in days. 
Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail? Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. It's amazing how even when you can't see much, it still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That is really interesting. They put so much work into this game. You can put in the cinematic camera and actually change the camera as it's going. This game is crazy. John was oh. riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Could you imagine doing this? I, could, I would slip down this mountain all the way. There's no way you're getting back up, it's dude. Slippery. Be careful. It's like, you know, no crap. It's slippery. It's all snow. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Yeah. Damn, it's cold. Yeah, no crap, man. Marston, you hear me? John Marston, eh? That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, see Arthur you. Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Ooh, okay. Look up there. Uh, we're wolves. Okay, I was thinking maybe it was like a uh, mountain lion or something. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Don't you worry, I am a professional. The hunter call the wild player. I don't know why I chose shotgun for this. Wow, that was not good. Okay. Okay. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. I think I'm down with the. Get out of here! Get out! Shit, there's more on the right. Revolver is more oh, my style, I guess. Get out of here! You see any more up there? Don't think so. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. See those horses' hooves are going to be frozen. That's we need some help okay. here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ah, you oh. careful, oh. idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. 
I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I guess folks miss them. That, that guy looks familiar. I, fall, I don't want no fun. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What a party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Maybe I should. Look at those fancy binoculars. Wow, they both have fancy binoculars. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. There's all sorts of guys around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up on the tower. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. All right, let's go pay our old friends a visit. You'd think they could see us moving about pretty easily, don't you think? Can we move faster or something, bro? He's Louise us. Realize we're being quiet and moving down a slippery mountain and whatnot, but jeez the weeds. We got a long ways to go to be going at this speed. What are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Here. Kabang! We're running, we're running. <laughs> Ain't on the water tower anymore. his hat off his head. Oh, dang, some of these guys are tough. Oh, 
Okay, I kind of get it now. So, uh, it, one, one like, X or whatever that's, like, wounding him or something like that. Do you recognize any of them ducks? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the... Well, here we go. Now we got a chance. Bro, it is a lever action. God dang, man. I'll be honest, this is the first time I actually saw my uh, ammo up in the top right. Kentucky bourbon. A silver pocket watch for chewing tobacco. I'm guessing the gold stuff is worth more money or something like that. Dynamite. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was going to rob. A Mr. Mr. Leviticus, Leviticus Cornwall. Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's, Let's keep, keep moving. You see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cone? Leave him to me. All right. We're heading back. Just bring him back alive. So we're needing to take this guy alive. Get the lasso, okay. Not so fast, sir. You're coming with me. Let's go for a ride. Uh, oh, God, no. He's staying on this horse remarkably ride. well. Uh, for not being tied to it or anything. You ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Made it back. Are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I gotta say, him, my friend, we shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Well, I tell you what, everyone. This has been a, uh, a really fun introduction into the game. Still up in the snowy mountains. Haven't been able to go anywhere else, but, you know, that's just kind of part of the... 
tutorial, if you want to call it that, and it's a great way to really get someone into the game without really putting them on a set path, even though this sort of is a set path, of learning the controls and all that sort of thing. But I am enjoying a little bit of story mode here with Dutch and the gang playing as Arthur Morgan. It sounds like we're going to be taking out a train here in the near future, which I am also looking forward to. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to make sure you see more episodes in the future. This is, of course, the first episode of the Red Dead Reptile. Ember, uh, series so make sure you're following along hit that bell for more notifications of when next episodes are going to be coming out and I think we have a lot ahead of us everyone I'm looking forward to it take care and as always remember we're one planet one family game on